There's a mountain of resentment that's been building up for years between Chris and Marianne. He wants me to go around and clean up after him like his mom did. I do that. That's, that's not true. That's not true. You can't compromise. You can't communicate. You can't be generous. Let's go to the play-by-play. I mean, keep there, in there, mind, there are Vermin, no, I, I am a slob, I'll admit. <laughs> but wait, 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 yeah, and then um, we'll, we decided, just talk, we'll just wait. We decided to do the business together. Yeah, that, and that's, then let me, let me, than, let me tell you. I'm, than deciding I'm going part. through the process. Would you just wait? It's pretty impossible for either one of these guys to yeah, stay then, quiet then. while the other one is that's talking. Than deciding I'm going part. through the process. Would you just wait? Poor Marianne. While Chris is talking, she's shaking her head, you know, trying to stay quiet, nodding, shaking, rolling her eyes. You can see that this is almost impossible. They have no practice staying quiet, letting the other speak, and letting it in. Well, it's true. I mean, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard to even describe. Look here. She actually has her knuckles bunched up. It's like she's literally ready to throw a punch. <laughs> Here's the umbrella. You aren't allies. Hey, you found something. Do you agree? A hundred percent, yes. The only thing that these two seem able to agree on is that they are enemies right now. Nothing else. <laughs> Couples get into a triangle, right? And the three points of the triangle are either victim, villain, or hero. The villain is pointing the finger of blame. Can I just say one more thing about the laundry? Both Marianne and Chris, instead of being partners, are spending all of their interactions looking for proof that the other one is their enemy. A long time ago, I asked him, please don't put the laundry on the couch because nine out of ten times it ends up on the floor. There's two sides to every coin. And this laundry piles up over our heads before it's even, it's, but, somebody's got to do it. It has to get done. So each of them is wearing a lens where the only thing they can see is what the other one is doing to hurt them and what they're doing wrong. And that makes it impossible. You're blind to what they're doing right. You are both very committed to being right. Well, because he's so <laughs> hypocritical. You know, we had our cleaning lady here two days ago and he goes upstairs and all his clothes are on the bathroom floor again already. Marianne challenges me when I suggest that they're both committed to being right. I hate debating. <laughs> I hate debating. Like, I, I just would rather not talk. You're debating with me right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. She is so wanting to point the finger of blame that she's debating me about proving that he's the only one that wants to be right. Is it possible, looking at your partner now, that your partner feels like you don't love them? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I wish here, when Marianne started crying, that Chris could have reinforced it a little bit. He'd go stone cold. And my guess is there's so much distance between the two of them that he doesn't really yet know how to bridge that gap. So are you ready to start changing your story? I'd like to. I'm not too optimistic that Marianne and Chris are going to find it easy to break these patterns. They've been pretty entrenched, and they've both been pretty committed to fighting and to proving their right. But I do think that something landed with them. And if they can just hold on to a kernel of it, perhaps it will start to grow. All you need to focus on is yourself, and the rest will follow. These two definitely have their work cut out for them. And my guess is that they're going to be challenged for quite some time to break those negative patterns. But we are going to hope that they do. To see more Couples in Crisis, subscribe or watch another episode right now. And don't forget to watch Recipe Rehab, where our chefs compete to take your recipes from fat to fab.